Reptilian uh, is a 1999 movie. It's actually called Yongari. It is a Korean um, monster movie that was trying to cash in on the whole Godzilla craze. And um, they messed up. This is an example. This, I thought this was going to be a cinematic atrocity, but it's, it's not. It's just a really bad film with some really bad acting. But it's not entertaining enough to be considered a cinematic atrocity. It's on Amazon Prime. Uh, so basically the story of this movie is that Korea wanted to make a big budget monster movie. So they made the practical effects uh, and they made the movie with a mostly American cast. Uh, really bad acting because I guess the, the, they dumbed down the dialogue so that f Koreans could understand it too. So there's a lot of expositional dialogue like, Mr. Scientist, are we sure we should go into the digging zone? I, I demand you do what I say, you know, things like that. Really bad character arcs for them. They don't have any character arcs, they're just there. Anyways, um, so this is a Korean movie technically with an American cast. Uh, and they made practical effects. And I saw in an accented cinema video where they were making like the cool model for the Yongari. And, they, and someone was like, nah, let's do CGI. And it was the most expensive Korean movie film that to, to date, that day, 1999. Uh, the movie looks like shit, though, because it looks like a PlayStation 1 uh, polygon came to life and is attacking stuff, and people are screaming, and there's a lot of, you know, CGI creature, then cut to the person going like, Oh, my God! Ah! And um, the movie's only like an hour and 20 minutes long, too. A lot of human talking to, to add some padding and filler. But basically, the story is that Americans are finding uh, archaeological, uh, you know, 200 million year old dinosaur bones belonging to Yongari. However, the, um, one scientist went rogue. He stole some hieroglyphs because uh, he, he translated it and he's like, oh no, if they dig it up, it's going to be doomsday. But everyone else ignores him because they want that dinosaur bones. However, the dinosaur bones are brought back to life by an alien spaceship and they want to use Yongari to destroy the planet because apparently he did it in the Jurassic period. That's why all the dinosaurs died, I guess. Something like that. And then, uh, so they're like, oh no, Yongari's alive. He's been killing diggers. And the military fights him, but then they find out with that scientist's help that if they destroy the diamond on his head, they can destroy the device that aliens are controlling Yongari. So they do that. Yongari's like, hey, I'm chill now. So they send another uh, creature, like a cyborg, to go attack it. A monster battle, really short, because the budget. And then the aliens go away, and they're like, sweet, Yongari, woo! So this movie is pretty bad. It's a biggest example of like, we're gonna put so much money and effort into this and get the least amount of product in return. You know, it's a clear copycat of Godzilla. They also tried to make a Yongari movie in the 60s too. But this is an example of just like, nothing works really. Um, I did laugh a couple of times because of the bad acting. But other than that, though, I can't really recommend the movie, so I gave it a 2 out of 10.